These Christmassy tree decorations have all been made with the same pattern, only colors are different. We'll start making one now. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You need three colors of yarn and they need to be approximately the same weight. Doesn't really matter what weight, the heavier your yarn is, the bigger your Christmas balls will be. These are the same yarn here, so the size is like this here. And then you need a crochet hook that goes with your yarn. I have 3.5 mm. You can check out this video's description for suggestions on crochet hooks and yarn. And then you need some wadding, whatever type. I normally buy very cheap pillows for that. Take the first color of yarn and make a magic loop. Wrap round and make a stitch. And first chain three. And then we'll make 11 double crochets into this here ring. And that's double crochets using American crochet terms. It's treble in British terms. 11 double crochets. One yarn over each. Eleven. Here and then tighten the magic loop very tight like this here and either now or in a while finish off this well. With the magic loop you need to pass it through several times otherwise it will come loose later. And then get your second color. We always change the colors so that the slip stitch closing the round is already in the new color. So uh, insert your hook into the top one of the three chains we made in the beginning and get the other color and uh, make a slip stitch. Then chain one a single crochet into the next stitch and the one after then two single crochets into the third one so we increase a bit always having two single crochets and then two in the one stitch on the third stitch and again single crochets in american terms double crochet in british terms one single crochet, another one, and then two into the same stitch here. And continue right round like this. Here we now have 16 stitches on the round. Then get your third color ready. And the next round will be double crochets again into back loops. So get the back loop of the first on the previous round and uh, pull the yarn through it. Chain three and then this counts as the first double crochet and then a double crochet into the next one. and the one after and then two into the fourth one two double crochets into the same stitch so this again increases a bit but not too much it's starting to get rounded and that again three times a double crochet into the next stitch Three and then two to the next one. Uh, 
and continue like this. There will be 20 stitches on the round. That's 20. And then next we will be working these here groups, groups of uh, double crochets. And for these I'm using the two colors that I started with, but you can of course select whatever colors. At this stage now we are starting to have these yarn ends inside here and normally I would never not crochet if it's for clothes or something but this is just for decoration and the inside won't show so you could not sum all those together the ones we started. Every second double crochet group will be a different color. I'm taking one of the color colors here I, I didn't cut that one, I'm just taking it from there and inserting the hook to the top of the chain from last round and making a stitch. You need to pull these quite often here. And then chain 3 and uh, two double crochets into that same stitch but we pull them together at the top. So start the double crochet but don't finish it. Leave the last stitch on the hook and one more. So now I got three with this chain counted and then pull through all of them at once. And now we're using the other color also taking it from inside there and tightening first and uh, then make a stitch using that chain, just one. And then we'll have three double crochets in the next stitch. Again, leaving them unfinished so we pull them together at the top. Two. And three. And Take a yarn over and pull through all of them at once. And then we continue like this, change the yarn and again tighten it a bit. Chain one with the new yarn and three double crochets into the next stitch. yarn over and pull through. So we continue like this. I'll make one more. Go back to the red color. Chain one and three into right the next stitch. and so on. So now I'm taking the green again and continue like this right round. Here we are. You have 20 of these groups of double crochets, so 10 in each color. Then we'll have one round in the third color, not neither of these colors. By the way, the yarns do tangle a bit, so so when you are making this here, try to twist them opposite directions, first this way and then that way, so that it doesn't tangle too much. So I'm taking this one now and uh, inserting it to the start of the round. Again tightening and then chain one. And now we'll have a single crochet in between each of these groups. Just one single crochet in each and nothing else. It will The stitch will be a bit stre stretched because it needs to jump a bit. But this way we'll have the same number of stitches, not decreasing or increasing. That's 20 single crochets round it. And then we'll have a second round of these double crochets in two colors. I'm taking the green here and a slip stitch 
and again chain 3 to start and 2 double crochets into the same one so that we pull them together at the top and then you continue just like in that there round by having one always first chain one when you change the color and then a group of three into that single crochet we just made so like this here and continue just that right round there's that and then we started to decrease so the next round will be like this here but of course we are going the opposite direction so we are decreasing I'm getting that yellow yarn or goldy yarn there and a slip stitch again there and it's double crochets and we start with chaining three and now it's important that you only put one double crochet on top of each of the color groups so that it actually does then decrease the number first a double crochet there and then on top of the next one so now with the chain and those we have three and then we decrease so take a yarn over and start a double crochet there but leave it in here and then go to the next one and again insert the hook and pull a stitch so it looks like that and uh, yarn over and through three of these this is called the invisible decrease in double crochet and then finish the stitch and then three so that it goes on top of each just an ordinary double crochet next one that's two and three there's my yarn getting here <laughs> and then again the invisible decrease so first there and then make a stitch into the next one yarn over and through three and finish the stitch and then continue like this so you always first make three double crochets separately and then you decrease you end up with 16 stitches and when that's done pull up a long stitch so you don't lose your yarn and fill it up with the wadding whatever you have there so just fill it there and I cut the yellow yarn because we won't need it anymore and then we have two more rounds to do like this and the first one is single crochets I'll do mine in green it's a bit harder to crochet now with all that wadding in it and then making a stitch to start the round there chain one and we are working into the back loop so make two single crochets first normally So one in each and then we decrease the next two start a stitch there and there and pull the yarn through all at once 
and then a normal single crochet into the next two I mean one in each that one and that one and then we decrease the next two start a stitch and another one and pull through all at one go so like this till the end always two ordinary stitches and then a decrease and you end up with 12 stitches at the end here we are and then one more round I'm using the red that I started with and what we are doing now is decreasing the whole time always putting three double crochets together and first a slip stitch and now I'm using both loops of the stitch tighten chain three this is our first double crochet and then make a stitch into the next one and next one and uh, yarn over through these three loops and finish the stitch then yarn over and we're starting a double crochet in three stitches so just one loop there one loop in that one and one loop in the third one and now we have four stitches to go through so we are now and through all but the last one there and finish the stitch and again yarn over stitch there stitch there and the next one yarn over through four loops and the yarn over and through the last two and one more time and there this last bit is not that easy to do because it's so tight there and then a slip stitch to the start of the round and here it is now and then what I'm doing is I'm making a hanging loop from this red yarn so I'm cutting it a bit further finish off these two first by passing them inside that ball and then I threaded the red yarn and I'm leaving a loop before finishing it off